hello guys welcome to my youtube channel ui ninja so in this video i am going to discuss about the most useful css property on the web page so first is css overflow property the css overflow property controls what happens to the content that is too big to fit into an area so this figure shows the overflow content how to fix css overflow of the content the problem of an overflow of the content when the size of the container is fixed can be accomplished with the help of the below two methods by making container size modifiable to adjust the height and width of the container by applying overflow related properties provided by the css how to manage this issue of overflow property this type of issue generally arises when the content exceeds the container size or when the width and height of the container is fixed here the content can be text or an image and the container can be used div tag or another html tag that contains the text or image the overflow property has the following values first is visible so visible is default value the overflow is not clipped the content renders outside the element box next is hidden property hidden value the overflow is clipped and the rest of content will be invisible if you add scroll value the overflow is clipped and the scroll bar is added to see the rest of the content next is auto value that is similar to scroll but it adds scroll bars only when it needed so syntax is here we uh, make one class that is container in between that we add overflow property and its value is auto you can change this values by visible hidden controller auto so we can take one example of this overflow property open the sublime text editor here we make one class class name is container here we add height and width of the box and add border of the box to px is the width of the border and solid is the border style and color is black here we add also background color property and in body section we add the html tag here we use p tag in between that we use class that is container and add some content add large amount of content here and close this tag p tag save this file and see the result on the browser window the content overflow here so we can add overflow property to adjust this open the sublime text editor in container class we add overflow property and value is scroll save this file and see the result on the browser window rest of the content shows while you scrolling you can also change this value one by one like visible auto and so next property is display property 
द डिस्प्ले प्रॉपर्टी इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सी एस एस प्रॉपर्टी फॉर कंट्रोलिंग लेव द डिस्प्ले प्रॉपर्टी द डिस्प्ले प्रॉपर्टी स्पेसिफाई हाउ एन एलिमेंट इज डिस्प्लेड एवरी एस टी एम एल एलिमेंट हैज़ अ डिफॉल्ट डिस्प्ले वैल्यू डिपेंडिंग ऑन वट टाइप ऑफ एलिमेंट इट इज एवरी एलिमेंट ऑन वेब पेज इज अ रिक्टेंगुलर बॉक्स एंड द सी एस एस प्रॉपर्टी डिफाइंस द बिहेवियर ऑफ दैट रिक्टेंगुलर बॉक्स सेंटेक्स इज एट द डिस्प्ले प्रॉपर्टी एंड इट्स वैल्यू देर आर फॉलोइंग सी एस एस डिस्प्ले वैल्यूज विच आर कॉमनली यूज फर्स्ट इज इन लाइन वैल्यू सो सी एस एस डिस्प्ले इन लाइन द इन लाइन एलिमेंट टेक्स द रिक्वायर्ड विथ ऑनली इट डज नॉट फोर्स द लाइन ब्रेक सो द फ्लो ऑफ टेक्सट डज नॉट ब्रेक इन इन लाइन सी एस एस डिस्प्ले इन लाइन ब्लॉक The CSS display inline block element is very similar to inline element, but the difference is that you are able to set the width and height of the block. Next is CSS display block. The CSS display block element takes as much as horizontal space as they can, means the block element takes the full available width. They make a line break before and after them. So CSS display run in value. This property does not work in Mozilla Firefox. This element don't produce a specific box by themselves. If the run-in box contain block box, it will be same as block. If the block box follows the run-in box, the run-in box becomes the first line box of the block size. If the inline box follows the run-in box, the run-in box becomes a block box. Next is CSS display none. The none value totally removes the element from the page. It will not take any space. So the the default display value for most element is block or inline. First is block level element. A block level element always starts on a new line and takes up the full width available. It means it stretch out the left and right as far as it can. next is inline element and inline element does not start on a new line and only takes up as much width as necessary so we can take one example of this display property open the sublime text editor so here we use the display property first we make the display class here we add display property and value is block and we can add here paragraph tag like add some content like home we can uh, add more t tags about us and next p tag is sign in here we use the display class all the p tag uses the display class save this file and see the result on the browser window we can add value is block to display property so the content shows in different lines if we add if we change the value of display here is in line save this file and see the result on the browser window all the text shows in one line so that is in line so next property is links css links css property can be used to style the links in various different ways links can be styled differently depending on what state they are in the four link states are 
लिंक विस्टेड हॉवर एंड एक्टिव लिंक इज अ नॉर्मल अनविस्टेड लिंक एंड विस्टेड इज अ लिंक द यूजर हैज विजिटेड हॉवर मीन्स वेन द यूजर माउज इज माउज ओवर इट एंड एक्टिव अ लिंक दैट मोमेंट इट इज क्लिक सो सेंटेक्स इज ए इज अ टैग एंड लिंक इज अ स्टेट नेक्स्ट सी एस एस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लिंक सम बेसिक सी एस एस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लिंक्स आर गिवेन बिलो लाइक कलर फोन फैमिली टेक्स डेकोरेशन बैकग्राउंड कलर सो ऑल दिस प्रॉपर्टी आर यूज इन प्रीवियस वीडियो सो वी कैन एड डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज एन बिटवीन द लिंक वेस्टेड हॉवर एंड एक्टिव हेयर वी यूज बैकग्राउंड कलर in all these states so we can take one example of this css links open the sublime text editor here we use the css links first we add a link in between that we add background color that is red and next state is a visited in between that we use also background property we can change this color to green and next we add hover state background color is pink next we add active state color is blue you can add links here a h r e f equals to here we link location of the file that you want to link like attribute dot h t m l and here we add home and close this a tag save this file and see the result on the browser window home is a link here we shows the color active inactive visited hover all this shows so next is float property css float property the float property is used for positioning or formatting content example let an image float left to the text in a container the css float property specifies how an element should float the css clear property specify what element can float beside the cleared element and on which side the float property can have one of the following values like left right none and inherit so left is used float to the left of its container and right is used right of its container and none does not float this is default value it will be displayed just where it occur in the text inherit the element inherit the float value of its parent in its simplest use the float property can be used to wrap the text around image so syntax is image in between that we use the float property value is right so we can take one example of this float property open the sublime text editor so here we add img image in between that we use float property and value is right and here we use the p tag and in between that we use image 
इमेज सोर्स एंड वी कैन एड द लोकेशन ऑफ द इमेज लाइक स्मॉल वन डॉट जे पी जी इज द लोकेशन ऑफ द इमेज एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो एडजस्ट द हाइट ऑफ द इमेज बाई गिविंग द हाइट एट्रीब्यूट एंड इट्स वैल्यू इज हंड्रेड पी एक्स एंड विथ इज ऑल्सो हंड्रेड पी एक्स वन सेवेंटी पी एक्स यू कैन ऑल्सो चेंज दिस here we add margin right property that is 15 px add some content here Plot property used when we adjust the image and the text. And close this p tag here. Save this file and see the result on the browser window. This image shows in the right of this text. You can also add more text. open the sublime text editor and add more content also save this file and see the result of the float property this text shows side by side of the image Thank you if you like this video so please like share and comment and subscribe also thank you